So um, thank you for being here. Um, if you have questions about um, Cobra computers or um, the hackers from the um, early 90s in Romania, just feel free to ask. Uh, but I should start by uh, giving this uh, small present I was talking <laughs> about. So um, do you remember what was the name of that computer virus that displayed a fractal on the screen? It was uh, built in the early 90s by someone in Switzerland. Do you know what the name of the virus was? Tequila. Tequila. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank this is um, some brandy, plum, br original plum brandy from Romania. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much. You. Um, do you happen to have question? Uh, was I boring or not? No? no? Yeah, please. You were mentioning there. I don't know, you were talking about some, uh, like some dean of faculty, I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah, uh, the Not dean. being very happy about uh, this uh, fun hacking. And you mentioned blocking from computers. Yeah. So you couldn't, couldn't access the computer. Anything else, inter uh, you, anything else happening there? Anything, uh, so how did this work? Were they just blocked or were they talked to? Uh, well, they, they talked the to the sysadmins. Um, when uh, a student wanted to use one of the computers from the lab, he had to talk to one of the sysadmins. So um, the sysadmins were also allowed to block the students for a week, two, and maybe more. Um, this is why they, uh, there are still frictions between the two parties at the moment. So, um, but the, the only one that was cut out completely from uh, using the university's computers was Larry. So you would have so, to, as a student, if, if you did something bad, you'd have to go there and sort of negotiate how long you're blocked or so? Yeah. You're very well, sorry, maybe only one week? In Eastern Europe, we don't have uh, specific rules. Uh, and th this is both good and bad. Uh, it's bad because if you don't have procedures, uh, then things uh, often don't go as expected. But uh, this lack of procedures also gives room to um, negotiate. Um, the deals, so yeah, they had um, they had a talk each time. Thank you. And all, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I have a question. I had the chance years ago, I think twelve years ago or so, to visit uh, Timisoara. Mm -hmm. and they had some kind of PDP nine that also seemed to be it was an official university computer, but it also seemed to be not a real original PDP nine, but something self made uh, like a clone somehow. Uh, was there some kind of official uh, strategy of accepting of cloning and building somehow illegal? Uh, that also made it easier for the, the hacker guys? Uh, I, I think all the, um, many of the products that were built uh, in Romania and maybe in other Eastern European countries were uh, clones of uh, Western uh, products. But uh, I'm not sure if this, this was a strategy for, uh, the, uh, for, for hacking. I, I, I don't know that, but yeah. Uh, it, it, first, it was a way of uh, using other people's R&D and building uh, products that were um, cheaper and um, easier to make because you wouldn't spend a lot of time into thinking how uh, you should make them. So it was it was a bit um, easier, like the Chinese did up until a few years ago. So. Is this a... Uh... Is this a... Ch this is a chip computer. Okay. Uh, this was sold uh, in Romania in the um, early 90s. There are three uh, uh, different types of chip. Chip 1, 2, and 3. This is a 3. Um, and it was made by Electronica Factory in Bucharest. And it is, it's quite similar to the Cobra computers uh, I talked to uh, before. It was made in a factory 
and many c computers like this ones were uh, marketed as gaming devices, um, and they were uh, displayed uh, next to a, a TV set so that people would buy them uh, both together. So. Uh, we, we, we brought several games. We have Manic Miner, we have uh, Chaos, Frogger. Uh, if you want to uh, play that game with the frog that tries to cross the street. And there were also some uh, games, Romanians cloned. Uh, it, it was a clone um, game after the Chucky Egg uh, game. Uh, and it was called The Chicken in Romania. Uh, it was made by uh, some engineers working f in a small uh, town in Romania. Uh, this is why it was called Gaina from Brela, Brela being the name of that town. Um, and they wrote on, uh, several funny messages if you play the game. And one was this game was made by engineers from Ichi Brela outside business hours. So if their boss came to them and said, what are you doing? So this game was um, said to uh, be developed uh, outside business hours. I still want to write a story about this game. Uh, I've managed to find one of the developers, but uh, maybe in the future. I'm... What's interesting is that um, this also had, uh, there were also games uh, that uh, came on audio cassette tapes, and these entered Romania likely with the help of pilots from uh, people working for airline companies, from the state uh, airline company, uh, that brought them, or uh, there were official um, leaders of the Communist Party who hid them inside diplomatic suitcases, and people used to copy uh, this game. These games, and there were also there was also a, a TV show in Romania. It was a radio, also a radio show in Serbia that did pretty much the same. They aired uh, computer games, so you would basically record. Uh, the The person working for the, the radio or the TV would say, "Now you should start uh, play um, and record uh, what's going to uh, happen next," and uh, they will basically record the sound and just. Um, then they would load uh, the game into their uh, machines. So, uh, was there any like specific uh, shift in how these uh, people that you've been interviewing operated after like 1989, or did they just kind of keep going with what they were doing? Like, was there any like major shift in their well, like how they were allowed to operate, or what they were doing, or why they? cared about what they were doing. Yeah, they, they mostly did what they did out of uh, the fact that they wanted to learn more and wanted to uh, be creative. Um, at that time, in the early 90s, and even the late 90s, there were uh, gangs of carders in Romania, people who would find, uh, I don't know, credit cards uh, that belonged to people in the US mainly and they used those uh, cards to buy goods. Uh, probably you've heard about Hackerville. That's a, a town in Romania. The FBI had an office there. Uh, it, it, it was the Carter's town. Um, so, but Carter's weren't welcome in EDO 11 computer lab. This computer lab was only for uh, people who wanted to learn and they somehow excluded people who wanted to steal money. This was not a kindergarten playground, it was the big league. Uh, but things changed in Romania after um, hard legislation addressing computer hacking was pushed. It is one of the harshest, I would say, in Europe, so um, yeah, they don't uh, operate the same today. <laughs> Can you tell us more about how the students gained access to the foreign foreign servers they hacked and how like software security worked back then in general? Uh, yes. Um, many of the students back then in Romania in the early 90s uh, developed their tools from scratch. Uh, they would spend hours um, in the lab challenging each other and learning from each other. Uh, information was their currency there. 
So um, they basically developed their tools uh, by themselves. Uh, Larry worked I don't know, for two years at his worm trying to make it stealthier. Uh, Ender did the same. Vampy, I think, did the same. So um, the fact that they had total freedom allowed them to learn more than people who um, had certain restrictions. So, um, yeah, they've, uh, they were also hunting vulnerabilities. Um, Larry created a database of vulnerabilities uh, there, that were both known vulnerabilities and vulnerabilities that he and his colleagues were able to find. And the, the worm relied on these vulnerabilities. And when he found the servers, uh, server, he would try different um, scenarios. So, yeah. Sorry, in case, in case you, you, you haven't said that, you might have said it. Uh, this change in legislation, uh, when did that happen? Uh, in the early 2000. 2002 and to the, or 2003, yeah. Okay. So it's it's still in place. <laughs> was it in response to like a specific event or just like they realized we should do this? Was it in response to a specific event that happened? Uh, no, no. I think it was um, a lot of people complained about um, Romanian hackers and not particularly hackers, or Romanian people who steal money using credit cards. Uh, so, uh, yeah. And like, has there been any like high-profile cases where people have been? Uh, I don't know what the the actual um, like you know penalty is or f fine or jail or something. There wasn't one high-profile cases, no. But there were uh, several um, smaller cases. There were uh, hackers who um, served time because in the U.S. and in Romania for what they did. I think that um, one of the most known hackers, Romanian hacker, hackers, is um, Guccifer. Um, a few years ago, it was this story about Guccifer too, uh, hacking uh, the US um, elections. So um, this was actually Russian, but posing as a Romanian hacker. Guccifer is now, uh, the Romanian uh, Guccifer is now jailed uh, somewhere in Western Romania. Uh, I had the opportunity to uh, write letters to him, and he replied uh, and told me about uh, life. He was a taxi driver, and uh, he managed to uh, break into a couple of email accounts and uh, find critical information. But um, it wasn't a, a very brilliant hack. He just tried different passwords, and some of them worked. So it was like entry-level hacking compared to what the EDO Double One guys did. I've also tried to um, find if CERN or uh, the Pentagon uh, have logs from that time. Apparently, they don't. So. I think they are safe. <laughs> I think we're uh, pretty okay. So, if we don't have if we don't have questions anymore, I think we could. Um, also, um, you could uh, DM me at any time or um, email me if you uh, want to learn more about Romanian hackers or. Romanian uh, computer scientists in general, I will uh, try to answer the question and maybe direct to you to uh, better skilled people. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.